In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, a sphere. Okay, so we'll make show you how to make a ball and then how to turn that into a sphere and then sort of shell that out. Okay, it can be quite useful. Uh, you could have that with light coming out through, but it's clear or something like that, just, just a nice shape. Okay, how do we do that? So let's start, uh, start a new one, as always. And we go to sketch, sketch, and we'll go top plane, as I always do. And I'm going to draw a sphere or circle there. So let's draw a circle. Or we'll start drawing from the origin. Always put in our smart dimension. So I'm going to do mine, um, let's do it 50. Okay, always trying to get that fully defined. So it's just done. Okay, now I can go exit sketch. Oh no, I didn't want to exit sketch. Sorry about that. Let's go back into the sketch. If you do that, remember just go sketch, click on any line and you're back in. I want to draw a line through the middle. Okay. And I'm sure there's probably really neat ways of doing this. I'm not. I'm just going to grab a line tool. If you hover over the middle and kind of hover over there, you can kind of get the dotted lines just to tell you that's that's in line there. So I'm just drawing a line using the the, uh, the kind of auto drawing tool that's trying to snap into place and whatever it's telling me there, and that goes right through the middle. Okay, and now I'm going to go to trim entities because I only want to have a semicircle. So I'm going to get rid of that bit there, rid of that bit there, and rid of that bit there. And you should see it changes colour when it's happy. And I'm going to say okay. So now, what if I exit the sketch and go to features, not the extruded boss, the one to the right of that is one called revolved boss. Okay, so I'll click on there. If I just select that middle line, you'll see it turns it into a ball. So for some reason, if I want a ball, there you go, I can just do that very easily into a ball. Now I don't want a ball, I want a semicircle because I want to be able to put my lights inside it. So I'm going to change that to 180 degrees. It's only going to go around halfway. Just click on the side, you should get a, a, a preview. Okay, and you'll see that it's it's still solid, but at least I've got half a half a sphere now, okay, or a hemisphere. So I'm just going to say okay. Now there you go. So that's the the solid bit. But obviously now, how do I get rid of this middle bit that I don't want? I want to go scoop it out. Okay, well we use the old tool shell again. So just click on that flat surface there. Click on shell. I want to change the uh, the parameter, which is obviously the thickness of the walls, just to 1.2 mil. Say OK, and there you go. I've just scooped out the center of there. All right, so obviously, if I wanted to do some sort of ball or whatever, I could do two of those uh, and put those together with um, my lights inside. OK, I might want to build like a little base for it, perhaps. Um, if you do need to put a hole through this, OK, now obviously it's a sphere, so it's going to be quite difficult. I can't really select any. I try and click on there and say, alright, let's sketch. I can't actually select on anything. Okay, so if you think, well, hang on, how if I wanted this on the top with my, my, my wires coming through there or something, just to have the light sitting there and all the everything out underneath in the, in the base part, how do I do that? Well, to do that, what I'm going to have to use is these ideas of the planes. Okay, so if I click on top plane, you should see. That's giving me this this surface here. Okay, now that's a kind of a, an imaginary surface if you like, but or a virtual surface. But I can actually draw on that. So let's try drawing on that plane. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's going to let me draw, and I can draw. Uh, let's just see. Imagine I was going to draw up, up a cut a hole through the bottom, just so I could put some wires in. Um, so wires, what would they be? About a mil each, maybe one, two, three, four, uh, probably about half a mil. Let's make it about, um, and then that's the radius. So if we say two, four, that's going to be really big, isn't it? Let's go, uh, let's just say one, okay? So we want to say one mil across, that'll give me a two mil hole, okay? And let's put a smart dimension on that. Always smart dimension everything. There you go, two mil across. And exit sketch. Okay, so that, that drawing is just sort of sitting there on that plane at the moment. Okay, so let's go back to it. And I can now do um, an extruded cut because I want to cut all the way through. And I'm going to have to push that all the way up. Now, at the moment, it's cutting it the other way. So let's try this button here, flip side to cut. What does that do? 
No, that doesn't seem to have done anything at all. Okay, let's go into what does direction two mean? Let's click on that. Way. Ah, okay. So this is going to cut both ways, which is fine. It doesn't matter if it cuts through here. It's it's imaginary. It's uh, it's cutting into space. And all I need to do here is just pop that up. There you go. So it pops through the top. All right. So that's going to cut out the bottom there. Say okay. All right. So now have a uh, semi. Uh, a hemisphere, a semicircle kind of 3D object, a hemisphere, and I've got a hole in the bottom of it. So if I want to run some wires through there, I can do. And then I can just have sort of put the, the things in here, a bit of big glue, and plonk the other one on the top. Or I could do that with a whole sphere, but obviously that hole would need to be bigger to be able to get my um, lights and things like that through there. Okay, again, hopefully that's been useful. And I should finish there.